Another year here in Nashville, another one and done for South Carolina. The Gamecocks men's basketball team fell to Alabama Friday afternoon, 64 to 53. This marks the fourth consecutive year the Gamecocks have fallen in the quarterfinal round. A lot of things didn't go well for the Gamecocks in this game, but a few things made them look like they have all season. First of all, their defense was as solid as usual. We knew going into this game that it would be a low-scoring game between the top two defenses in the SEC, and that proved to be true. The Gamecocks forced Alabama to have 13 turnovers in the game, and they scored 14 points off of it. They also held the Crimson Tide to just two points in the first five minutes of the game. Although that was strong, the offense wasn't going for them, and you can't win a game just by your solid defense. Another thing that worked well for the Gamecocks were their bench players. Evan Hinson and Raheem Felder scored 10 of the Gamecocks' 22 first-half points. Hinson enjoyed his early playing time, scoring four points in his four minutes in Friday's game, almost matching a career-high five points in one game. These players, along with the rest of the South Carolina bench, really helped them out and kept them in the game for as long as possible. On the flip side, a lot of things didn't go well for the Gamecocks on Friday. One thing that didn't work for them at all were their free throws. The Gamecocks shot a painful 57% from the line. And if you can't make your free throws, then you're not going to win the game. It's that plain, that simple. And it's something that Frank Martin's really going to have to drill into these players during the offseason and if they make the NCAA tournament. Another thing that didn't go well for the Gamecocks were that they were overcome by the Alabama defense. We knew from the get-go that they were going to be a hard team to surpass, but the Gamecocks just let it completely affect them. They had plenty of opportunities during the game where they were wide open and they could have made the shot, but it just bounced right off the rim or they weren't even close, and that really affected them. They just need to pick up on their shooting and get better and increase their opportunities and capitalize on them, and they could have easily won this game. And finally, another struggle the Gamecocks faced was that their starters did not live up to their normal expectations. Dwayne Notice continued his season-long struggles and did not score a single point in the contest. On the other side, Sundarius Thornwell, who was recently named the SEC Player of the Year, did not live up to his normal expectations. You would think after getting that title, he would be motivated to come out and score and just lead the team the way he has all season. And he just didn't have that same fire in him that he's had. He scored just six points in the first half and 14 total. Still a good night, but not the way we've seen Thornwell play all season. And we know that he could do better. And he was just missing the heart that he needed to lead this Gamecock team. Well, even though a lot of things didn't go well, there's still hope for the Gamecocks. They now wait to see if they make the NCAA tournament. In the recent ESPN Bracketology, they are a number seven seed in the Midwest bracket. That seems to be a lock, but anything can happen. The Gamecocks were one and done last year, and they ended up not making the tournament. So we'll wait to see what happens. Well, from Bridgestone Arena, I'm Claudia Chikamian for Capital City Sports.